Hey, welcome back to The Big Ranch Show. Thank you for joining me. Now, the one thing I do here at The Big Ranch Show is I admit my mistakes. On Friday's video about J.D. Vance and his mother's addiction, I made a mistake. And unfortunately, I got got by an edited video, which apparently is all the rage these days on both sides of the aisle to create false narratives. In the video I saw, it made it seem as if J.D. Vance said that his mother died of drug addiction. The video was apparently heavily edited because I saw a light later search um, for it and found a full video of him talking where he says he almost lost his mother, that she did not die. So I'm actually glad to report that his mother is alive and well and sober. To me, that is absolutely awesome. Because anybody that can get into the throes of addiction and pull themselves out of it, I commend on a, on a very deep level. Because it takes a lot of work. I've lost friends to addiction. I've had friends who've made it through addiction and survived and came out the other side. It is very difficult and it's a very hard case for them to do. It's a very hard thing for people to deal with. So... For his mother, I'm sorry that I made that mistake. Now, moving on to the point of this video. On Friday, Donald Trump was giving a speech at, at Turning Point USA, at a Turning Point USA event anyway. And then he told Christians they would never have to vote again as long as they elected him this time. That in four years, it wouldn't be necessary for them to vote ever again. Now, I'm going to play you this video. Um, so just bear with me a second. I don't care how, but you have to get out and vote. And again, Christians get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years. You know what? It'll be fixed. It'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good. Now, as you see, Donald Trump suggested there that he was going to do something to make it to where Christians never had to vote again. And I wonder exactly what they mean. he means by that, huh? I got a few ideas. And I think it's pretty obvious what he means. He's going to make it to where he's king. Where there are there is no voting in America anymore. That's clear what he is saying there. Now, people are going to come in the comments and be like, oh, he didn't mean that. He didn't mean it that way. That's exactly what he meant. People say what they mean when they show you who they are. Believe them. It is very clear that he means he wants to make it to where there is no voting again. Because he'll have it fixed to where they never have to vote again. Now, there was a guy in history the little silly mustache that killed six million people who wanted to do the same thing. Wanted all the power to himself and literally destroyed Europe, including Germany. And that's the same thing that Donald Trump wants to do. He wants to anoint himself king to where we never get to vote again. He says it right there in that video. So those of you in the comments in the last video, nay saying, saying that, oh, I don't have receipts. Well, there it is. There it is right there. Clear as day, there is no way that you can sit there and spin it. It is what it is. He said it. 
He said in four years, if he's elected in November, they won't have to vote again. Meaning that he plans to anoint himself king of America. Because there's no other way to take that. There, there's literally no other way to take what he said. I've tried over the years in this channel to do more uh, on the idea of you get more flies with honey than you do vinegar. And I've tried to be open-minded about the things going on in the world and in this country. But this is some place where I, I, I will not compromise. A man basically says he wants to anoint himself king to where the Christians never have to vote again. And I'm just supposed to sit here and be okay with that. The answer is no, I won't be okay with that. I'll never be okay with that. That is not the America I was raised in. That is not the America I know. The America I know gives everyone equal rights. That's the America that we are supposed to be striving for. A more perfect union, if I recall. A more, I don't believe the Founding Fathers had ever intended at any point in time for us to have a king. Now, our Founding Fathers knew some stuff, you know, knew that things would change going forward. That's why they gave, the, gave us the ability within our Constitution to change laws and change amendments in the Constitution. But I guarantee you, they never intended for there to be a king. And George Washington made it clear when after his first term, he stepped down from office and said, we're not that, you know, we're not a, a monarchy. He set the precedent. The presidents are not to serve life terms. That's why we have rules in place for how long people can serve. Because we are not a dictatorship. We are not a monarchy. We are a democratic republic. Start acting like it.